Everybody that started programming sprites, on a Commodore in the 80s probably started designing sprites, using graph paper. I myself, had no printer, and certainly not a printer that was capable of printing, a raster. Sprite design tools were not known to me at that time. I knew only the Commodore manual, that was included by the Commodore computer. So the only way was taking the graph paper, and draw the sprite raster yourselves, count the cells, draw the lines, and calculate the byte values. This was also the first time I learned to use bits and bytes. Nowadays many online applications and tools for sprite drawing are available that you can use. Nevertheless I just wanted to create myself, a simple template using Office Excel, so see this video on how I did that. So let us start up Excel, and create a new file. Select one of the top cells, and just give it a title to show what we are creating here. What we will do now is create a matrix, with the right dimensions to represent a Commodore sprite. So we will create a matrix, of 21 rows by 3 columns, this is the representation for the bytes with the bits that we will later use to draw a sprite. The first 8 cells, we create represents the first byte on the first row. By dragging these cells in Excel, we now can replicate these cells to the 21 rows that we need for the sprite. Once we have created the first column, we need to replicate that for the two other columns of the sprite matrix. To make it more look like a sprite matrix, we adjust the column with such a way, that they are kind of square. So we copy the first column to create the other two that we need to have the full sprite matrix. To make it more clear that we have three columns, we draw a thicker line at the end of each column. To make it look nice we play around with the borders of the cells. We also make use of the cell rule function, to colorize the cells if the value of a cell is 1. So let's do this, and show you how that will work out, once that is done and we place a 0 or 1 in the cells. We format each cell in the matrix, so we will center the values and pre-fill them with the value of 0. When drawing the sprite later on, 1 represents a dot to be shown, and a 0 represents a dot to be transparent. So now that we have created the matrix, and added some logic to be able to visualize the raw sprite in Excel, let us look on how we can calculate the data, we do this by creating a formula, to calculate the byte value, for each byte row and column. So 3 byte per row needs to be calculated, if the bit position 8 of a byte needs to be set then that represents the value of 128. Position 7 is represented by 64, position 6 by 32 until position 1 represented by 1, so the formula that we need, just multiplies the cell value, which can be 0 or 1 with the position value. For example, if we want bit position 6 to be enabled, we place a 1 in that cell. The calculation will then multiply 1 with 32 and the byte result is 32. This we need to do for each byte and column, so we need to copy the formula to all the cells. Thank you. 
Once we have copied the formula, to all the cells we then, can do a small test, to see if the calculations are done correctly, so let us set some cells to the value of 1, and see what happens. Ok, now, that we have created the matrix, define the formulas to calculate the byte values, that defines the sprite, we can start using these values, to actually create the basic code program lines, holding the data representing the sprite for the Commodore. Once we created the Excel formula to define the basic code line, we can copy that to the other lines to ensure we generate all data lines needed for the sprite definition. As you can see, I defined a default line start value of 1000, in the above cell. This makes it easy to adjust the line numbers, for the basic code. A trick in Excel to use a cell as a constant, is to add the dollar sign to the cell representation. This I show you a moment later. Ok, let us play a little bit. I will draw a first sprite example, using this Excel. I think you will recognize it shortly. So a sprite is now drawn. How can we now show this on a Commodore 64? For the demo, I will use the CBM Studio and Vice emulator. See for more info the links, in the comments section of this video. In order to do that, I prepared a few basic code lines, that I will add in the Excel. These lines can be copied or typed into your program, as an example. Here I will copy the data lines, and these basic codes into the CBM editor, and run them to show you the result. That's it. See the comment section on where to download this Excel, so you can use it yourself. If you like this video, please share or subscribe to the channel.